starts now. It's the, the, really the number one way to, to combat um, the, the overpopulation issue. A higher pet population means a low rate of survival at some Tennessee shelters. But there is a way you can help save furry friends. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Meckles. It's a problem animal shelters across the state continue to fight high euthanasia rates. The Tennessean reports startling numbers out of Nashville. 10 News reporter Evan Johnson joins us with those numbers and how East Tennessee compares. Evan? Well, good evening, Jennifer. The kill rate for Nashville's Metro Animal Controls is nearly 80 percent, and that's after a recent drop. Now, our local shelters fight a similar battle and say the solution is actually an easy one. Amy Johnston is the director of outreach for the Young Williams Animal Village. Oh, hello, buddy. The facility is the animal shelter for the city and county and does not turn away any animal. Regardless of how sick they are, if they're aggressive. Last year, the shelter took in a little more than 14,000 animals. But the center's euthanasia rate is about 50 percent. That's down, however, from 62%. It's a very high number. I mean, it is a high number um, considering um, that there are other shelters out there that are, their numbers are probably higher than that. For comparison, the Tennessean reports the kill rate at Nashville's Metro Animal Care and Control is 78%. Get back! Get back! Johnson says the lack of spaying, neutering, and adopting are the main reasons for the high kill numbers. Recently, Young Williams participated in Rachel Ray's three-month ASPCA's challenge from August to October, trying to increase pet adoptions. The West Knoxville facility placed 12 out of 50 animal shelters across the country, winning $5,000. I believe we saved over 1,700 more animals in that time period than we did the, the previous year. So we, you know, we, it was, it was a challenge, and, but we did wonderful things, and we saw a lot of animals get great homes. Since then, the shelter's pet adoption rate has gone up by 9%, a trend Johnston hopes will continue. It's wonderful to see, you know, them come in because they were stray or because their owner could no longer take care of them and then to see them leave with a, with a family that is just so thrilled to have them as part of their family is, is really, truly a, a blessing. And to combat the... At population, lots of animal shelters like Young Williams offer low-cost spay and neuter services, and it's also recommended families research the animal before getting them to make sure the pet is just right for their family. Jennifer. Five seven. Thank you.